Hey everybody, today I'm doing a little modification on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. The hot ends on the dual nozzle assembly could not be adjusted. When I took it apart, I found the hot end tubes were pressed in so tightly that I had to remove them with vice grips. And luckily I didn't damage them too much, but they were so tight in there they had to have been pressed with a press or something because it was insane. I removed the little um, adjustment screws, put in a little um, uh, lubricant oil in there and finally was able to pull them out. But you can see how this one is so tight there's just no way to uh, to have any adjustment to level the uh, two nozzles they, they were slightly out of out of uh, alignment one was uh, printing with one nozzle the other would hit the print so when they drilled the holes out they left I guess burrs and it almost looked like it was uh, threaded uh, there was there was enough grind marks in there and don't know if we can this is the one you can see how rough it is in there and it's like that all the way around now this side I've already cleaned up a little bit it's got a little bit markings left but it's a lot better shape I tested one side to make sure that I didn't destroy everything and to see if it worked. So I'm going to do this other one in case anyone may be having the same issue. Okay, so after putting the tube and the drill, spinning it to make sure it's not wobbling too much. Okay, so we've got it in there and it's turning pretty smooth. So I'm going to get some sandpaper here and just simply hold it. Now this is very fine grit so it's not going to take away a lot of metal and just to make it even plus I got a couple little burrs right there before I had to use the vice grips so maybe I can knock those down and if you hold the paper put some pressure on it it's not going to hit the threads okay Next, I had this little sanding uh, bit it came out of a cheap Dremel set that I got at Harbor Freight that I'm going to use to try to smooth up the burrs inside the block here. Now, when I'm running the drill, I'm kind of making sure that I go in a circular motion. You don't want to get in here and just hold it in one spot. You're going to make a flat flat area. And so you want it to be as kind of uh, evenly as possible running the um, little sander or that little uh, grinding bit here. And it doesn't take much. And as long as you this is a kind of a cheap drill it's not going at an extremely high rate of speed um, but you may want to just start off slow and do it several times and keep testing the fit until you get it just right Let's see what we got so far Not yet. Well, almost. 
There was no way I could have got that in earlier without using some kind of press. So it's pretty close. I apologize if this is going out of frame. Don't have a good way to have a good angle here. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. It's about the same on both. It's going to give me the movement I need to do any fine tuning. Because the block doesn't sit any more than about right there. So I only need less than a millimeter movement so okay well I'm gonna put it back together and see how it fits but in a nutshell I just wanted to see if it was possible without any special tools for uh, reaming or drilling I didn't want to use a drill bit and risk taking way too much metal off so just some regular sandpaper a cheap grinding bit from Harbor Freight and I was able to get enough movement out of this to make adjustment possible so I hope this helps someone who may be having the same issue and don't be afraid to try it now to get to this aluminum block does require disassembling the hot end completely the extruder stepper motor um, there's a lot of screws to remove but there are several videos online showing how to put it back together but if you make notes as you go along and take pictures use your regular camera use your cell phone and at each step that you remove a screw, take a picture of the screw, the bolt, whatever that you just removed, right next to the location that you removed it from. So when you go back to reassemble this, just go backwards through the pictures you took, and you should be able to put it together with no problems. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, there's one more thing that I had planned on doing that I forgot to do on camera. Just to be sure that I'm getting good contact still, good heat transfer, we're going to put a little bit of heat sink compound. Just a little about, that's probably too much there, but as I But when it goes in, I washed it afterwards too to make sure there was no more uh, fine metal particles. So we'll put just a little dab. Make sure it gets evenly coated. Now I'm ready for the set screws. And then any extra will just wipe off there. So, okay, bye.